stop number two was just over in the Periscope world. Now I'm right here on Instagram. What's going on, everybody? Let me bring you all down a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody handling their downtime? Tell me what chores you're tackling, what things you're doing at the house. I know you have a honey-do list, a closet to go through, drawers to reorganize, kitchen cabinets. Let's all do this. Let's be productive so that when we're out and about again, all of our stuff is just done, right? We have no worries in the world. Have you been looking at the weather? Because last night I put a good two hours into watching the Weather Channel because there is actually prediction of snow on the first day of spring in many places. The reason I bring this up is purely because you can now bet the lines of the weather at Bavada. So you can use my promo code BVLISA1000 and you can get in the action with me because we know the weather will not be canceled. You're working from home, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that so many of you are able to work from home. It's really a blessing because I went for a nice walk today and I saw the UPS drivers and all the delivery people and everybody out there that has to work. And that's got to be stressful for them, right? Because they have to be thinking about it more than we are. We're in our own space working from home. So for those of us that are working from home, let's put a little time into sending some good vibes out there and some good energy to everybody who can't work from home. Earlier today on my Twitter time, coffee, gardening, quickie, gardening. I love it. This is fantastic. That was a good one. That was a very, very, very good one. You made me smile with that one. I am not making videos during my downtime. I am though doing a ton of interviews. I went through the list of people who wanted to interview me for their podcasts. I reached out to all of them. Now my schedule is completely full, which is great because I think it's important for us to be on a little bit of a schedule during this much downtime. Yesterday I mentioned one of the things I found important was, you know, after my workout, you know, getting a nice shower and doing my hair and makeup because it just makes me feel like the day is happening. I can't just be in sweatpants all day and not do anything for myself because then I feel even less productive, right? So taking that is a, is a good step. Um, when does my podcast start? Of course, this put things off a little bit, right? Because we just uh, did our preliminary meetings about how it's all gonna go. And now, of course, I can't have guests in person. I might do some pre-recording. We'll see how this works out and we'll probably start talking about that next week. But I will be on some other podcasts. You're writing today, Mon. Hey, girl. Good, I'm really, really glad. I love when I get sports updates that are flipping around uh, in my thing while I'm chatting with all of you. So thank you. I went for a beautiful walk today. I walked about five miles. Then I stopped and picked up some fresh produce at Whole Foods, just some things that I needed that were uh, avocados, bananas. Uh, ooh, they had some beautiful heirloom tomatoes today. The only aisle that was empty, by the way, was the toilet paper aisle. Okay, everything else was fully stocked, okay? What are you people not eating? You're eating toilet paper? I don't understand it, but luckily I don't need any. But at the same time, I was like, I'm gonna pick up one, you know, package. On my way back from there, I stopped at a CVS. That was empty too. Uh, so, so this toilet paper thing is real. Now I've sensed it myself. It is real. And then I also picked up some flowers, my favorite lilies, stargazer lilies, because they bloom over time. So for the next 10 days, 14 days, I'll be able to watch these flowers open up and it'll be really a nice thing to look at every day since we know we're gonna be home every day. I did a podcast with my favorite, my friend Emilio today. As soon as he posts it, I'm gonna retweet it for all of you. If you're following me on Twitter at the real Lisa Ann, I will make sure you will see it. I'll put it on my Facebook, which is T R L A official. That's my Facebook, Facebook.com slash T R L A official. Go there and make sure you're following the right Facebook. You'll see a little blue check by it on that one. Um, there's a lot of imposters out there. That's a whole other thing. Lots of emojis today. None of you have any any productive things you want to tell me? Like you haven't been doing anything good with your time? You didn't rearrange my friend Monica's over there writing. She's doing something great right now. She is taking this on. I'm so proud of her. Um, and more just emojis. None of you just want to send emojis. This is the lazy generation on Instagram. It's funny on Face on Periscope. Everyone's typing away. Da 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 da. I got questions. I got questions. 
I can really watching writing interviews working out reading watching your live videos thanks a lot oh you're the best I could work from home if I was able to have Tony Stark for the laboratory installed I can be a guest on a podcast we can link now we're getting some typing I like this you're gonna make my reading skills go faster I like it I am happy for everyone that has the opportunity to work from home You'll be listening to me tomorrow morning, 7 to 9 a.m. Why did I stop Dynamic? Because it was time. Uh, 30 years is a long time to kind of be in the same world and doing the same thing and traveling so much and working so much and things have changed a lot. So, yeah, it was just time and I'm really loving my new second act in life. This this doing radio, um, this voice thing, I love. I love just talking, as you can see from me coming on here. I'm gonna be finishing my second book and then I'm going to be hopefully writing more. How old am I? I'm 47 and I will be 48 in May. Hello friends, salute from the airport in Vancouver. Oh, I wanted to go skiing in Vancouver this month and of course that's not happening. It's so beautiful there, so, so beautiful. But we're all just playing the waiting game right now. So we're gonna sit tight, we're gonna chill out. I've been told of a couple shows, there's a show on Amazon Prime that's supposed to be really good, Hunters. Would I wear your graphite? No, don't. I don't allow people to send me things because here's the thing, people send you things and they demand that you wear them and post all these photos and that kind of seems like you think you're my boss for free. Like, no, I work for myself, that's why I closed my wish list. I no longer have a P.O. box because people were just finding my P.O. box address and I was getting 30 things a day and then I didn't I would be away and I'd have a hundred things and then my whole next month would be spent with people screaming at me on social media I sent you these things and you didn't wear them and I'm like okay okay this is becoming way too much of a task and also people are super bossy with that your dogs are too much hello from Park City Park City Utah there was an earthquake in Utah. Uh, did you feel that earthquake? Please tell me about it. I wasn't sure when the history was of the last earthquake. Of course, I haven't had time to check either, but I know it was like a 5.6, which I've been in up to a 6.3. Man, you feel that. Everything in your house is moving. Like There is no denying. You hear things in your refrigerator just rattling. So if you felt that earthquake, let me know. Utah getting an earthquake is pretty wild. Um, I see some question marks. Maybe I didn't see your question. I'm so sorry. Search. Okay, I'll search her. You used to be a good person, but you should die now. Well, that's a bit extreme. Ohio in the house. How are you today? So what's everybody doing with the rest of their day? Columbia in the house. After Billions, are you doing more mainstream production? Uh, we spoke about it last year. Yes, so that's one of the reasons I'm back on the East Coast now because most of my mainstream connections are here. So I'm looking to do more cameos uh, on regular TV shows as well as some stunt work in other shows and some stand-in work. So that's all really fun. I'm sorry that you got laid off, but you're gonna be okay and it's not pleasant. I understand you're allowed to be as mad and upset about it as you want, but it's not gonna change. So you're gonna have to just sit tight and do all the things that you wanted to do if you were without a job. Watch some TV, read some books, hang out. You live in Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach is for lovers. I know that, see? I'm making dinner, Swiss steaks and mashed potatoes. There you go. There you go, making me hungry, right? Ray making me hungry. Um, hey, 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 Marky, hey, Marky. Was are any of you from Utah and did any of you feel that earthquake? Because I saw Laura Graciette, she was my news person in LA, and I heard her talking about the earthquake. So right away, I thought it was an earthquake in LA, so I looked it up right away just to make sure, to see if my friends are all okay. And then I realized it was in Utah. That's so random. I will come to Italy once we are allowed to travel again. Uh, Italy won't be for a long time. I think we're going to be sitting still for quite some time here. It is a strange feeling to know something's happening in the US and there's not a better place to escape to. That's probably one of the stranger things about it. 
Um, we are friends right here on social media. Look at that. Look how easily that happened. Fantastic. Isn't it that we can connect this way and be glad that we're connecting this way? Uh, I won't go to Italy for a long time, but it is one of my favorite places and it is where I'd like to later in life live and retire. So what is 17 plus 17? Why are you asking me math questions? It's 34. I want to talk to you about your passion. My Facebook account is facebook.com forward slash T-R-L-A official. So that's T-R-L-A for the real Lisa Ann official. I've been to the Netherlands and I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Corona has brought my town to a standstill. All of us. I mean, the city is a ghost town. I walked down three blocks today and did not see one other person. I shot a little video for my friends in California. It was like, just holding my phone, you're like, look, I'm walking down the street, there's not one other person, it's so weird. But here we are, and we have to make the most of it. And we can make the most of it by being nice to each other, checking out our neighbors, taking care of ourselves. And uh, I found a little bit of joy in not having to set an alarm clock. Anybody else um, excited to not set an alarm clock? I mean, it's not like I'm gonna sleep all day, but just not setting an alarm clock. Kind of like, okay, it's kind of a neat thing. Um, so well, thank you all very, very much. I'm going to get ready for my next podcast. Hopefully by the time I'm able to do that one, I'll be able to post out the one that I did earlier today and uh, we'll be able to connect. Hey Nick, how are you? How's everything? I love when I get to see a name I actually recognize. Um, I hope everyone out there is doing well. Why don't I act in Hollywood? Because I love doing sports radio so much. This has just been so much fun. I really, really enjoy it. Um, let's see, I see a lot of flags. I see a lot of flags, a lot of emojis, a lot of hand waves. I want to learn how to golf, but I gotta finish my book first and do a couple other things before I take that on. Condoleezza Rice was at the Pebble Beach Pro-Am and did an interview, very much inspired me. She said she didn't start golfing until she was 50 years old. She said, you're never too old to try, so that made me think I could put it off till I'm 50, and, and then I could probably be in the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Like, so <laughs> this is where it took me right away. God, just right away, I was like, yeah. Thank you, Free Bird. How are you? Another name that I recognize. I feel like I'm having some sort of reunion here right now, and it's fantastic. Well, everybody, I'm gonna get, get about my business. I will be continuing to check in. I want you all to be super positive, okay? We're all gonna get through this. We have so many forms, so many mediums to communicate on now like we didn't before. I'm gonna keep busy making sure that I'm doing a bunch of guest spots on other people's podcasts so you have some fun stuff to listen to. And till we meet again, have a great rest of your day, everybody.